didn't know this about fingerprints. With fingerprints, there's level one pattern, which is the fingerprint itself. The level two pattern is the detail on the ridges. Mm -hmm. And the level three pattern is within each of our ridges, there's little pores. That's crazy. Where the, the pattern of that pore is also unique okay. to each individual. Okay. Right? Yeah, and yeah. so to really like start getting something that I can admit in court right. and all of this other kind of stuff, right, 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 it'd right. be really nice to get level three patterns. Because sometimes level two patterns, like let's say you have like just the edge of someone's fingerprint. Well, that edge could maybe match to somebody else's fingerprint and things like that. But if you have the edge of someone's fingerprint and, and you have the pattern of the holes, yes. that's now extremely hard to, to match to erroneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so this current method actually lets you resolve those pores with these micro deposits, right? It's kind of the holy grail of modern forensics, okay, is to find fingerprints from bullet cases that have already been fired, mm -hmm. right? Because then you can tie a suspect to actually loading the gun rather right. than just possession of the firearm. That's actually, that's an important distinction. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty big. Yes. And this is from the paper. You can see very clearly the oh pores and the ridges, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. this is at tens of microns of resolution. 